Hello everyone and welcome to my Excel spreadsheet for playing, well, this one can play uh, APBA baseball, APA, it can play uh, National Pastime Next Generation or flip card uh, based on the value that I put in up here. Uh, today I'm playing uh, National Pastime Next Generation, 1968 Cardinals versus the uh, recently released 2022 Baltimore Orioles, a team I'm pretty excited about having grown up uh, on the Eastern Shore and following the Phillies and the Orioles as a kid <clears throat> amongst all the other teams. And I have a resurgence of interest in the Orioles after uh, having a love affair with Camden Yards and how great of a ballpark it is and just sucking it up with uh, the teams they've had. Um, they seem to be uh, have put together a pretty good team and they captured my imagination last year with all these uh, members here that uh, a lot of them got game. So um, <clears throat> I was going to get the first three innings in the books, but uh, Ruffnid Odar uh, doubled to lead off the third, and I had a sense something was fixing to happen. And then Cedric uh, Mullins uh, got a 33, got into his second column, and then a 13. So he's just doubled as well. So we have our first run in, and the O's take a one nothing lead. <clears throat> I've just introduced the Orioles into my uh, MLB Super League, and uh, they had a one, one win so far uh, against the 69. I broke them in against the 69 Cubs, and they did win that one. So Austin Hayes is up with a 31. That's a 14. And I do believe that will be a base on balls. Nothing can stop that. Anthony Santander with a 13. Now that one is probably going to get stopped by Steve Carlton. Let's see. A Z2 or Z4. Uh, he will be batting right. And so a Z2 stops it. So we go here. And we're going to look at the 35 uh, play result number. So we're going to check the catcher for an error. And that will decide if he makes the play or not. It's Tim McCarver. And he does not make the air. He needs 16 or less to make the air. So that's a pop out to McCarver. <clears throat> First out in the inning. Ryan Mountcastle's up with a 15, and that is an 8. And so we'll be going, we'll be checking his. Uh, Hit numbers for a right-handed batter. 23 and under is uh, he gets him out. And he does get him out on the 8. That will be a fly out. Runners hold. Wow. <clears throat> and Ramon Urias, 26, 13. will be a strikeout. And look at that. Carlton got out of the inning. We go to the top of the fourth. Roger Maris is leading it off with a 21. That's a fly out to right field. Bringing up Orlando Cepeda, Cepeda, 54, and that's a fly out to right field. Dean Kremers cruising along pretty good so far. Oh, not so quick. There's an 11 for Tim McCarver. He gets in a second column, and wow. Just as I was saying, it hit, knocks one over the right field wall for a home run. Cards tied up at 1-1. Bring it up Mike Shannon. 46 will be a K. <clears throat> Young Gunner Henderson pops out to the catcher. That's actually uh, in National Pastime Next Generation with no runners on. That's a uh, based on the handedness of the batter, and he's lefty, so it's a pop out to third base. My dog's getting anxious about some sirens in the background. If you start hearing some howling, Jorge Mateo with a 66 gets in his second column and a 14, and that'll be a 10C with no runners on. That's just a single. So Jorge goes to first. Adley Rutschman, young, impressive catcher for the O's. I noticed he got a C, uh, uh, a rating of uh, catcher nine in APA this year. And it's pretty amazing for a young rookie catcher. I don't think uh, I've seen that since Johnny Bench. I don't know. Maybe there's been another. 
52 is a 27. So this could be a double play depending on the third baseman. Let's see, 27. Third base's range will make the decision on this. Mike Shannon's range is a 2. So, so Felix Shoy's runner out at second. If it's a P batter, it's a double play. And I don't think Gunnar Henderson or Adley, I don't think he'll be a P now. So it's a fielder's choice to ground out, runner out at second. And I'll put Adley on at first. You know, for bringing up Roughnid Odor. 46, that'll be a K. And Carlton escapes again, allowing no runs that inning. Javier's up. He gets in his second column and knocks a double to lead off the Cardinals fifth. Now Maxville, 51 is a nine. So we'll be checking the hit numbers. He is a right-handed batter. So 15 and under would be an out, but it's not. So it's a single through short runner score batter out trying for second. So it's a single, an RBI and an additional out. One out in the inning, nobody on. One run in, though. Cardinals take a 2-1 lead. Bobby Tolan with a 45. He'll walk. Brings up Lou Brock. A 34 will be a fly out to center field. And Kurt Flood, 22. And 7. I don't know if you can stop a 7. Yep, we will check the hit numbers. But 23 is above both. So 7 is a single, runner to third. Unless he's a P runner, and I do not think Bobby Tolan would be. First and third for Roger Maris, and he grounds out the shortstop. And let's just see if Kramer can get a strikeout. Nope, it's a ground out. And Cedric Mullins will be up to lead off the O's fifth, and he will walk with a steal. Look at that. Let's see if Carlton can stop it. He has a Z2 and Z1. Nope. That's a walk with a steal. Cedric's on second base. That's the tie and run. Austin Hayes is up. 24, he'll K. Anthony Santander, 14, a walk. I don't know if Carlton can stop that one. Nope. Ryan Mountcastle with a 12. Uh-oh. 25, depending on the range of the second baseman. Could be a double play. Javier has a range of 1. That's the uh, lower rating of the 3. So 3 is the best. Line out the second base. And there's no doubling up. So it's just a line out. Two outs in the inning. Bring up uh, Ramon Urias. Ramon Urias with a fly out. Ooh, no. Yeah, fly out to left field. And let's just see if Carlton could possibly get a strikeout. And he cannot. So that's five innings in the book. Two to one Cardinals. Orlando Cepeda. 62 is a 27. And that's a possible strikeout. Let's see. K4. If he bats right, that's a K2, so it's a ground out. Tim McCarver up. Had a home run last inning. 28. And that's a ground out. Mike Shannon. And that's a ground out. 28. So we go to the bottom of the six. Gunnar Henderson leads it off with a 29. A K4 will be a strikeout, and that is for Steve Carlton. He does get the strikeout. He's faced 24 batters. has a stamina rating of 29. Only allowed four hits. He's doing good so far. 32 will be a flyout. And Adley with his 23 will be a ground out to first base, pitcher to first base. 
So we go to the seventh. Javier will lead it off with a 36. That's a 33. That'll be a pop out to second base, and uh, K3 is a strikeout. That's a pop out. Bring it up down Maxville. 26 is a 44. And it's a fly out center field. Bobby Tolan strikes out. And Ruffnet Odor will lead off the 07th. The 66. Uh, look at that. Look at that. We have a tie ball game. Home run for Rodor. Odor. Ruffnet Odor. All right. So we're all tied up. 2-2. Two -two. Cedric Mullins is at 14. And that's a fly out left field. Austin Hayes with a 14 will take a base on balls. Puts him on first base. Go ahead, run. Santander 42 is a 45 with a runner on first. Base on balls. Unless you get a Z4. Nope. First and second. Ryan Mountcastle with a 13 is a 45. Interesting. Fielder's choice. One runner out at second, other to third. Batter safe. So a first and third. Two outs. Ramon Urias. Will ground out. To the shortstop. And Carlton escapes, but he does allow the one run. So it's two to two. So go to the eighth. Top of the order with Lou Brock. Let's see how we're sitting. 27 batters. Yeah. Let me look at the relief pitcher situation. Okay, so yeah, I brought in Brian Baker out of the bullpen for the O's. And the first batter will be Lou Brock. Top of the eighth. Tied up 2-2. Two -two. That'll be a fly out. Just double check. He does have a uh, K5 and a K6 on his card for Brian Baker. But uh has to be a K6 for a 30. Brock bats left. And that's a not. So it's a fly out. Kirk Flood with a 61. That's a 40. We'll be checking the third baseman for the O's. 23 and he just makes the play and it's a line drive out unless we have a w one two three or four pitcher and let's see what baker is rated no so it's ground out roger maris will ground out well 28 k6 through nine is a strikeout for lefties nope ground out Bottom of the eighth, Gunnar Henderson to lead it off. 44, base hit single. Go ahead, run there. Jorge Mateo, the 14, is a fly out to left field. Probably need to get Steve Carlton out of there. See if he can get through this inning. 12, 29. Out of first runner to second, K3, 5, 7, or 9 would be a strikeout. And he is a K3 against righties, so Adley will strike out. And Roughnet Odor, 41, is a 24. And that's a ground out shortstop. All right, so through eight innings, we're tied at 2-2. Two to two. Unfortunately, I'm running out of time with my screencast o -matic free 15-minute software that I use. Uh, I will give you an update uh, as far as what the final outcome of this is. I will be taking Steve Carlton out as uh, he's already faced 36 batters. Both pitchers, both teams have gotten six hits. And uh, we have a good ball game here, and we'll see how it pans out. Thanks for watching.